Hey guys. I know this may be hard to believe, okay? You guys give me feedback and make sure you can hear me. We are in Antarctica, I can assure you. These are the mountains in Antarctica. Guess what? These are also mountains in Antarctica. These are all mountains in Antarctica. Okay. I flew in a plane from Puta Arenas. I can assure you that that's where I was. I, I went all around Puta Arenas. We then got in that plane and we flew south for like four hours. And I checked three, four different compasses the whole way. And they said we were flying south the whole time. A floating compass, a magnetic compass, a military grade compass, you name it. We are clearly in Antarctica because after a couple hours, we began to be over that continent, over that landmass. Okay. Can you guys give me like a five by five if it's uh, fine? It doesn't look cold there. Okay. I'm going to address all the stuff that people say. Okay. Here's my weather app. It says 17 degrees. Yeah. 17 degrees. Feels like 29 degrees. Well, there's no wind and there's sun right there at all the times popping up off of the ice. Okay. So it is cold, right? If I'm out here for a long time, I'm going to get really cold. My ears are going to get cold. But it feels like 27 degrees. Just, I just showed you my weather app. All right. I can see my, my breath. If you can't, I'm, I don't know. Okay. Cold enough to see your breath. So I don't know why people keep saying it doesn't look like it's cold where we are. It's very cold to me. I'm from Florida. So 18 feels like 27 is like negative 30. Okay. It is very cold, but it isn't as cold as you would think because the sun is like always glaring on you. You gotta be, you have to be careful because it'll just like burn the crap out of your skin and you can feel it burning your skin. Okay. So I can assure you, this is where we are. Um, this part is probably the most fascinating is just like how far out, look how far out you can see this like vastness. It looks super flat by the way. I need a five by five before I keep talking. Make sure you guys can hear me. You at least say there's no ice ring around earth. No, I'm going to say that it's five by five. Okay. We're good. How would I? How would I know that? But like, I'm gonna I'm gonna address some of the things. Which I've told Globe Earthers this for so like for two three years now. The way they go about the conversation is so detrimental to their side. They say stuff like Firesters say you can't go here. Ha 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 ha. They say no, they don't. No, they don't. I've never said that. Fly Earthers don't say that. Fly Earthers say you can't freely and privately go here. And if we say we can't go to check, that's what we're talking about. And we didn't freely and privately explore on this trip either, believe it or not. Okay, we are in an approved location. Now, I will tell you this, that while flying over it, the sun is going to totally just like just burn my face during the stream. I might turn it around in a second. But when we flew over it, you can see, well, dude, there's not going to be a lot of free and private ex exploration anyway. It's insane. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I'm going to turn this way for a second because the sun is so intense, bro. Yeah, so it was definitely one of the, like, most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Like, incredible. Like, if you see that and don't think there's a crater, it's wild. Okay. Amazing. Worth it for the flight alone. But you also, it's one of the scariest things that you've ever seen. Right, like the idea that that plane had it gone down, we've been done. I mean, there's, there's, it's just miles and miles of like ice and mountains with snow and ice. And when you first get in, there's tons of water. We went over the peninsula entrance, so we wouldn't have seen like an ice shelf or anything. Right, that's the place that has. It was obviously higher than the water, but by not, not a ton, and it's, it's kind of marshy in, in, in that sense. Like just tons of water mixed in with the land. So. That was somewhat disappointing because we do know there are tons of ice shelves. Highest average elevation in the world, admittedly, but whatever. Um, the reason it's not like crazy cold is because there's no wind. 
uh, and we're surrounded by mountains for the most part. And so it just blocks out a lot of the wind. If there was wind here, I would be so miserable. Oh my gosh. They, all the people at the camp said that it's been like terrible weather for like two months. And then the day before we get here, just beautiful. And that's a blessing. You know, probably not a coincidence. So obviously tons of people are saying that this is like proof of a globe and all that. And it's not. But it is a data point that matches the globe. Uh, it's a single data point, but it definitely matches the globe. I'm sitting here looking at it. So I'm just going to say, like, dude, for the people, like, it's just so insane. You guys sound so insane when you say stuff like, this is all a lie, and we're all using green screens or whatever. Dude, Will had left his green screen filter on, his virtual background on, that he uses in his streams. It just has TFP as the background all over the place. So when Jonathan stood up there and he had green on his shirt, it started glitching out and showing that because he forgot to take off that filter. Okay, that's all that it was. It didn't show Antarctica on his jacket. It showed TFE. So if you know how green screens work at all, you would instantly know that that wasn't, you know, it's kind of insane. Now, I, I know they did a stream where they were like showing the drone fly back super far and multiple angles and walking around. But, you know, I'm sitting right here telling you that it's real. And so if all of a sudden I'm an actor, I'm a show, whatever, you're just ridiculous. Okay. Everyone knows, you know that I'm not. And I think that that behavior is just laughably lame. And I don't care about being in a community with people like that anyway. So. Now, I definitely understand people being skeptical. And when you see the green screen glitch, I definitely can understand people being like, what in the world? But there's the explanation. Okay. So we are sitting here in Antarctica. It's incredibly quiet. I feel like everyone... Within miles, could hear me live streaming. Incredibly peaceful, incredibly quiet. There is absolutely a huge landmass that has been undisturbed, largely undisturbed, with just tons and tons of ice. And it's pretty crazy. Okay. We got here. While we were flying, the sun popped around seemingly the other side of our plane. We weren't quite able to see enough to know anything. We land. The, the, since then, the sun, which is now right up here, Okay, has just been doing circles. Sun has just been doing circles, bro. That's objectively what it does here. It's just a fact. That's why we came here. We came here and we proved it. I've seen it with my own eyes. It's burning my skin. I've put solar filters on. Four of us have put solar filters on. We have tons of images of solar filters showing the sunspots. We have to compare them based on the time and the corresponding latitude to see if they match. Because obviously I did see Joe Hanby's model and it's very interesting. And uh, I'm just seeing if, if those, those spots uh, actually match what they claim that it should. But this is the thing. This should be a very simple concept that I shouldn't have to explain, but apparently I do. So it doesn't fear investigation. So no one should have been against us going here because it's an additional data point. It's, it's like trusted sources going and documenting something that we haven't had like reliable documentation of. And you might would ask the question, why they faked it so much? Why wasn't there so much of it? Well, good good question. I mean, some people run the conspiracy idea out that they did that so that at one point it could be shown and they could say, see, Flat Earth is wrong or whatever, and Flat Earthers took the bait. There are, I mean, the guy that faked the other one, he said the editor did it because he thought it looked better. Who knows? Maybe that's true. When you come here and you travel all the way here, for example, like I'm exhausted. That's why I haven't live streamed yet. And I'm right now, I'm so tired. I fell asleep right before I did this on accident for like 20 minutes. I barely had any sleep uh, after traveling for like 24 straight hours. No sleep. Then I come here and we're in some, like no sleep the night before and then travel all the way here. And now we're staying up for 24 hours. So 9.30 tonight, right? To document the sun and only get like a couple hours of sleep here and there and shifts. So it's been like crazy. If someone goes through all that traveling, say from the U.S., and they come here, they're coming here to do something. They're coming here to get in planes, to skydive, to to have the, the plane take them around, show them stuff. They're not coming here to do this. This is this is this is like a whole thing. Now, someone may just drop down a 360 cam and walk away, and they come back and check it. Someone may put a camera up, and you know, if they work here, maybe they would do that. You would think, but I can understand why there's not tons being here. It's just like I don't know. Now, if it wasn't for this conversation, I would just be like, wow, that's a trip, and I, I would have moved on. 
it's the trip you can't you don't know what time it is like right now i only know it's almost five because i'm looking at the clock like you could tell me that it was eight in the morning i'd be like okay sounds legit like it's it's pretty crazy okay so there's a few pieces of advice i want to walk you around i want to show you everyone that's a fan of truth should be happy that we're here doing this okay we have tripod we have another camera tracking the sun another camera tracking the sun two more cameras right here tracking the sun another camera tracking the sun two more cameras tracking the sun two more cameras over here another camera over here we've been pulling out the p900 solar filter pulling out the p900 infrared and taking pictures periodically from the outside of all this so you can clearly or even videos you can fact check uh, my 360 needed like a firmware update so i wasn't able to use it but that was going to just show the outside view of all the cameras while they did it and the sun so you could have a lot of time fact checked like okay that happened but 360 cams the way they worked is they're st they're spliced together intrinsically so someone can always say anything's fake if they want to this one right here has a solar filter on and it's tracking the entire time i actually got to give mad props to T dave mckeegan he like force himself to stay up and make sure that that completes because he's had to slightly make sure it stays in tune the whole time and so you know that's pretty impressive so that's going to be one of the most valuable ones obviously a solar filter tracking it the entire time so there's shots of it the 24-hour sun everywhere all over this place i don't see how someone could be upset about that and that's why uh, i was so delirious and i still am so that my title i was like dozing off while i was typing the title that I miss about the title, but it's a uh, one small step for man, one giant leap for flat earth. And it is. It is one giant leap for any pursuit of truth, you know, you would think. And uh, yeah, so that's where we are. I'm going to look at your questions in a second, but I would encourage people just to kind of chill because uh, like truth doesn't fear investigation. It's becoming kind of laughable at this point. Uh, you can understand from our perspective, it just sounds insane. It sounds insane. And like, I understand the skepticism, but it's like, that's why we came. That's why I came, bro, was to try to, to get rid of that, to help you. And now all these people now that have known me for years, all of a sudden, like, I'm a shill, I'm an actor. What a joke. Okay. Now, there's been tons of people that are just like truth seekers in the community that were actually super excited. I was going, praying for me to be safe and are happy and thankful that I came. And so shout out to them. I will do live streams. Um until we leave like i said we're getting a bunch of people uh, to take solar filter shots so if you're going to kind of give me a heads up and i'll try to take a shot at the same time we can we can compare um anyone that sees this that's further northern latitude as close to 80 north latitude as you can uh, reach out to me on telegram connect with us so we can like um correspond and get the the sunspots and see if they match the globe which way they should be flipped over as if we were on the bottom of a globe so yeah there's that that's going to be very interesting to see if they just flip vertically or if they also flip left to right which will help give some insight maybe into joe hanvey's idea which of course if you haven't seen it he assumes waters above and a firmament which then acts as a reflective surface and it creates a little uh, like a, a parent sun that goes the opposite direction. So if you take the light source and move it over the entire uh, flat Earth, like a map, then on the outside, the, the little sun goes the opposite way and stays up for 24 hours. And as you move the camera over, that person that was, say, on the other side would also see the same thing. So it's very interesting. Um, and it also it makes the star trails do the opposite rotation as well. So I don't know if that is what is happening. But I think that while we're here, it's probably a good time to try to test it. Okay, I'm going to read your guys' chats. But, yeah, and shout out to the people that uh, try to support for the trip. I know, I'm, I know, like, a lot of people that did weren't able to because Cash Tab was rejecting it, which is unfortunate and slightly coincidental. Let's see what you guys, if you guys got a question, just ask me. Can you clarify, is there a 24-hour sun and whether or not you have seen yourself personally yet? There is 100% a 24-hour sun, and I've seen it personally, yes. So at this point, I've been here for over 24 hours. The sun has not set. 
I've personally been here since 4 p.m. yesterday. The sun has not set. Not only has it not set, bro, it's like it stays pretty high up in the sky. Now, the question is, is it too high? That's a good question. Let's check the elevation angles. But it seems to bounce right around where it's supposed to, which is 13 or 34, allegedly. But as I can confirm, 100%, no questions asked, that where we are, there is a 24-hour sun, 100%.